because of the tragic death of actor Luke Perry from a massive stroke at age 52 and the near fatal stroke of Game of Thrones actress Amelia Clark at just age 23, the public now realizes that strokes don't just affect the elderly. They can strike anyone, like 53-year-old Luce Cruz. My aunt right away noticed that my speech was um, slurring because we spent a lot of time together and that my leg was um, lingering behind me. Luz had a large blood clot in a major brain artery, as Mount Sinai's Dr. Jay Mako pointed out on her angiogram. There should be an artery giving blood flow to this whole area, which is, you can see, white. It's not getting blood. That lack of blood to major brain areas meant almost certain permanent disability and possibly death. But Luz's aunt recognized the signs of a stroke right away and called 911, which, according to new EMS protocols, evaluates a patient for possible stroke and transports him to one of 19 certified stroke centers in New York. Luckily for Luz, she was part of a clinical trial for a study comparing conventional stroke clot grabbers with clot aspiration. Suck the clot, take it as one big piece, and take it right out of the head. Here's how it works. A long, thin catheter is threaded up into the brain, right into the artery that's blocked by a blood clot. Then suction is applied through the tube, grabbing the clot and literally sucking it out of the artery, opening it up and restoring blood to the brain. This is Luz's brain after the procedure. Blood vessels now fill the previously empty brain area. It's one of the most powerful therapies that's ever been shown. In in any medicine. Luce knows she owes her remarkable recovery to the new technique and to her aunt. Got lucky. <laughs> now that clot aspiration technique is faster, easier, and much cheaper than previous methods. A win-win for patients and the healthcare system. Plus, unlike clot busting drugs, which have to be given within a few hours of a stroke, this could work even 24 hours later, but the success rate goes down with every passing minute. As doctors say, time is brain lost. So oh, yeah. get to the hospital yeah, right away. Seconds seriously count here. But Absolutely. If you live too far, then you have Well, issue. yeah, but I mean, it, within the, few hour, the first few hours of, a, of, a, of the onset of stroke symptoms, you're still in that okay time. If you start stretching it out to 6, 12, 24 hours, then the success rate starts going way down.